there is a truth to be found in Psalms 103. We've been studying through this the last few weeks, and I told you I found eight truths in this psalm. And as we've been looking at this, I believe that this particular truth is one that most people would not consider, including myself. But as I read the scripture, I thought to myself, I said, this is absolutely magnificent. Listen to this. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. I interpret it this way. We don't always get what we deserve because of God's intervention and God's great love and compassion. And just this reaffirms what the scripture tells us in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I believe that we truly can take to heart the fact that God wants us to have abundant life, quality of life. But we do have these issues of sin and rebellion. It's in all of us. Unfortunately, we were born with it. But what happens is when we seek after spiritual things, And we have a heart to want to grow in our spiritual life, our spiritual understanding. We begin to understand more about the ways of God and the thoughts of God and then how God works in our lives. And we learn to flow in that. Well, even with that, we're never going to gain full perfection. There's always going to be those flaws. But this is where the mercy and love of God comes in because he looks down upon us and he sees the flaws and he sees the things that we do that are displeasing to him. And I understand that God is not going to look upon sin, but the truth of the matter is, is that God, once he has extended forgiveness, that sin no longer exists. And that's where the mercy and the love and the compassion of God comes in. So we don't have to pay the terrible price that should be exacted for sin and rebellion. We have that beautiful thing called confession. The Word of God says for us to confess our sins. Ask God to forgive us. He's faithful and just to do so. And so, This brings us to that very, very important step in our life. And that's what I would just simply refer to as the daily confession. That we make sure that in our prayer time, that we ask God to truly forgive us of our sins with heartfelt repentance. And God in his mercy, his love and his compassion will grant us pardon and forgiveness of our sins, that we might be cleansed as we stand before him. And oh, how important, how very important that is. It's Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.